Well, how's everybody doing today? Saturday, uh, August 20th. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an example of what I'm doing here with fencing. So, it's your traditional fence clip. I mean, I'm trying to one-hand this because I didn't bring a tripod with me, but um, you're going to get the idea here in a second. So, we can sneak that around there, and we flip this to the other side, right? Take this. Start that on there, wrap it through. I just had to grab that with my other hand until it pulls off there, like etc. Then we grab this one like this. Wrap it around like that. So that's your uh, fence clip on there. Um, this would be kind of more your traditional way of installing it. You see how you don't get quite the full wrap, and you definitely don't get the full wrap on here. That's more of a plier install. And yeah, you can get them tighter with the pliers, but the fatigue on your hands is what really uh, drove me to come up with this. Um, and then you have these, this style of spring clip. I'm uh, kind of over these things for how they're supposed to retain the wire. Um, they don't do a very good job after that's been our two years and it it's supposed to be spring steel but loses all its tension and doesn't hold anything on there anymore so um, this I think you could buy them actually I don't know it's an old screwdriver and then I took like an E5 I want to say it's like an E5 E6 inverted Torx bit and put on there you could find a really small socket, but you have to go sub four millimeter. Um, this Torx bit, it grips it very well. So you can actually, you can see how it doesn't go on there real far, quarter of an inch. That one I had to twist a little bit because the end is dinged from pliers, but um, it goes on about quarter, yeah, about a quarter of an inch. And it'll wrap that thing around. Most of these uh, spring steel style clips, these jaw locks clips, you see how that one just popped off there like that? Well, that, they do the same thing when the cattle try to put any pressure against the fence. So we've been taking those off as well, replacing them as needed. Um, I'm out here on the south end of the property. I put this fence in a couple years ago to split this. And so right now the cows are all over here. And we're going to be working on this fencing this section and when I get the excavator fixed in the next week or so we'll be down in the far on the other side of the trees there's a little bit of clearing and then a fence again we're gonna clear out all that and put in there put in new stuff I tried to patch it up uh, you start pulling on the wire it starts breaking and doing all those things so for right now we're going seven strand here uh, I realize that it's expensive but if it keeps the damn cows in and it keeps me away from the headaches, it's completely worth it in my opinion. Uh, side by side, sitting up there, you saw it's leaning. Weep! It's got a flat tire. I've been running around with a portable air compressor to uh, keep air in the tires, so yeah. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Like, subscribe, comment, share. See you on the next one.